morning. I swear a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. We're here. We're finally here. Library of Ruiner. Here and now. Live. Not live at all, actually. Pre-recorded and heavily edited, probably, for your viewing pleasure. We have arrived. I am beyond excited. I spent multiple hours last night and several hours this morning writing down, compiling, and adding everyone's nugget submissions to the list and to the wheel. We are ready to go. I want to add some notes for this series before we begin. Don't worry, I will keep this brief because I'm just as excited as you are. No spoilers. I don't think I need to say this again, but I am going to say this again just in case people didn't watch the teaser, also didn't watch anything I've ever made before ever, haven't been checking the comments, and aren't on Discord. And all those things are actually more likely than you think. No spoilers. No spoilers. No fucking spoilers. You've seen Peaky Blinders with the guy going around towards mates going, no fighting. No fucking fighting. Well, I'm saying that about spoilers. No fucking spoilers. None. Not a goddamn peep. Or I will rain horrific misery upon you and your loved ones. Forever. I will put you in the book, and then I will throw the book at your nan. I don't give a shit. No spoilers, okay? Second of all, the implementation of your fan submitted nuggets, right? We've got a lot of excellent submissions. I'm very excited to see who gets in, but you need to understand something. First of all, most of you are not going to get in. That's out of my control. There's nothing I can do. The only alternative someone mentioned would be rotating nuggets, which would be an absolute nightmare and would take forever. And no one's nugget would do anything remotely significant. No one would be around long enough to do anything noteworthy. I don't think it's worth it. So there is a high chance your nugget is not going to make it in. I'm sorry. The wheel was the fairest thing I could think of. What else can I do? Don't get pissy if your nugget doesn't get in. I'm sorry. I've done the best I can on this, but this game has significantly less, <laughs> like, places for nuggets to go into. And from what I can tell, nuggets don't die. So, no one's nugget- if- and once a nugget's in, it's in. Once a slot is filled, it's filled. That's it. We're done. Bear in mind that despite all this, I have still put multiple hours into compiling a list and setting up the wheel just for a minimal amount of nuggets to make it in. So please don't scream at me if your nugget doesn't make it in. I'm sorry. It is the way it is. And to put it bluntly, you're gonna have to deal with it. Cope. I suppose you're gonna have to cope. But I can't think of anything else to say right now other than I'm excited. You're, oh, there is one more thing, actually. Give me a sec. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, this might be a bit of a controversial decision, and hopefully you'll understand my reasoning for it, but I have decided to turn the voice acting off because, from what I can tell, this game has um, Korean voice acting, and from what I've heard, it's very good, apparently. People have been very complimentary about it, but the issue is that I am presenting this show. It's a visual novel-style game. If everyone's talking, if everyone has voice acting, I can't really read after they voice acted because that would sound awkward and if they're all doing all the lines anyway it kind of puts me out of a job i have nothing to do at that point i'm just sat here watching visual novel scenes as you guys would be as well i suppose so i am turning off the voices i apologize if you're really attached to them i bet they're fantastic and i'll go through this game again in my own time and play it normally probably and you know actually hear the voices for myself but for the purposes of this series, I am turning the voice acting off, so I have something to do. <laughs> Otherwise, what else is there to do? But that is a thing I'm doing. If you guys are vehement, vehemently, I don't know how to say that word, but if you are strongly opposed to this idea, like really strongly opposed, let me know. I will consider putting them back on. But this seems like the smartest way to do it, right? in order for me to be able to actually present the show. But without further ado, I truly believe that's everything. Start a new game. Scene one, canard. I go out to the street, my hands in my pockets. It's me every day. I always put my hands in my pockets. I don't know why, but I can't not. I feel like I need to do something with my hands. I can't just have my hands at my side. Do I actually click? Oh my god, you guys, is this game actually going to let me click to advance things so I don't miss dialogue? Amazing. I still cannot leave this place. Location inside the library. I can read despite your blurriness. Auto play, convo log. Good thing there's a convo log, actually. Even at the end of all this, I cannot be free. This is Angela, isn't it? Let's be real. Am I not allowed to have a dream that is beyond my means? I mean, I did. Look where I am now. Oh, you're not Angela at all. Damn it, the purple tear. Or tear. Can't believe this is how she handled it. What the hell happened? What's with all this smoke? 
Guess I'll have to trust her. This looks better already, I must say. Like, um, immediately, the uh, the presentation, the production value, if you will, it's already, like, a step higher. Bearing in mind, I think Lobotomy Corporation was, like, a Kickstarter game where the Kickstarter failed, and they just kind of managed to produce it anyway. And look how good that game turned out to be. Ah, Angela. Always happy to see you, darling. You know what? I preferred the long hair, but you're rocking it, and I respect that. I'll only say this once. I despise verbose and roundabout speech that doesn't get straight to the point, or you'd hate me then. So don't try to get wordy, just answer my questions. You don't get to question me, either. <laughs> See how that facial expression says it all, doesn't it? Where did you come from? How did you enter this place, and for what purpose? Well, who are you to- you're answering- you're asking a question, buddy. She just said don't ask questions. Oh boy, I'm suddenly getting all nauseous. Ah ha ha, my leg! What happened? Oh no. <laughs> I warned you, and you crossed the line. Let me ask you one more time. Where did you come from? How did you enter this place? And for what purpose? But he's not having a good time. I was just walking around and ended up here before I even realized it. I have no idea how I got here. Damn it, blood's gushing out of my leg. I swear I wasn't trying to trespass. I don't even know where this is. I woke up around 1pm and started walking around the streets of District 13. Since I was just out and about, I figured I could go wherever I wanted. So I decided to drop by Ham Ham Pang Pang. Heard they served a weekly special sandwich. Sorry, that was quite hard for me to read. Anyway, I had bills to pay, got no jobs, had to make a living somehow as a one one man off fear. <laughs> oh no. You dragged on too long. I'll be taking your left arm and left leg next. Oh god, he's losing limbs. You have no purpose and you don't even know how you got here. Just who are you? Just an ordinary fixer who's hit rock bottom. What the hell is this place and who are you? Oh, you asked questions. Don't ask questions, you fool. Come on, taking two limbs at once is cheating. I'm the one asking questions. Your name? Roland. Ah, I've heard mention of Roland. I don't know who they are, though. This is Roland. Good. Welcome to the library. We've yet to serve any guests, but then you suddenly appeared out of nowhere. It took me quite a bit of effort designing this library to ensure that no uninvited guest could ever enter, you see. Damn it, these limbs were all I had. I don't have any cash or mortgages to get new ones anymore. Seems he fainted. <laughs> Wake up. Oh, wow, what a glow up. What? Hey. Oh, my legs and my arms. Oh, Roland, you're having a bad time, buddy. I don't know how to tell you this, but you are. Wait, they're all in tags again. Oh, my limbs, lovely. You should be able to swing your arms and walk again. And I made a few readjustments to your body to make it a bit easier to use. Although you did trespass on my library, I also took your limbs away without your consent. So I'm giving you these as an apology. Very reasonable. I'm quite patient and generous, you see, as all the patient and generous people do tend to describe themselves as. Definitely. Patient, my ass. Am I really supposed to be thankful for this? And the, uh, your warning isn't in effect anymore, right? Nope. Not anymore. I had a few thoughts while you were knocked out. And here's my conclusion. You'll help me out here. What? Huh? Do syndicates these days kidnap people this way too? Or is this one of the wings? I heard rumors that they abduct test subjects from here and there for singularity research. An acquaintance of mine apparently began jumping between dimensions as a side effect of one of those experiments. That's rough. Uh, my life really is an unlucky mess. This is a library. I don't know the syndicates you're talking about, but this place isn't a wing, at least. Doesn't really matter. Whatever the case, I'm trapped here and you'll exploit me, right? Yep. I am letting you live for two reasons. Can you count that high? Two? First, it's half the amount of limbs you lost. First, I need an analysis of how you could enter this place uninvited. Sending you back or neglecting you without knowing the reason could pose a significant threat to the library. Well, it's not like you can leave without my permission anymore. Second, from now on, I will collect books about the city in search of the one absolute book. The big book. And I want you to help me with this process. Since you are a resident of the city, I expect you to be helpful in various ways. I knew this would happen to me someday. People would disappear without a trace, only to be found as chunks of flesh much later. I used to laugh at those poor folks for being careless and unlucky. But now I see it has nothing to do with carelessness or anything, huh? Just happens without a moment's notice. 
Uh, don't be too concerned about your life. You're not allowed to die here unless I permit you to. Oh, damn it. So this was a crazy laboratory sort of deal. Yeah, pretty much, actually. Some kind of facility, if you would. Do you, like, shove random stuff like corn kernels and clockwork into people's stomachs and turn them into walking popcorn? Spewing popcorn machine men or something. I could go for an army of popcorn machine men. This has got to be the worst. I'd much rather die and be over with it, over with it all. If you spell such nonsense one more time, I'll gladly, tur <laughs> gladly turn you into a human popcorn machine as you so wish. Don't test her, she will do it. I've already gone through so many cycles of bullshittery, responding to every bit of meaningless rubbish, I've never heard Angela swear before. That's bizarre. Sorry, ma'am. Oh yeah, the new thumbnail. We always gotta have Angela sing in a sassy manner. Let me introduce myself properly. My name is Angela. I am the head librarian and director of this library. Moving up in the world, I see. Angela. It's not that uncommon a name or difficult to pronounce, Roland. That's a good name. Roland is a server. <laughs> you poor man. So what am I supposed to do? Your role is to welcome the guests invited to the library. I will carefully determine what guests to invite and write an invitation accordingly and you will entertain the guests once they accept the invitation and arrive at the library. Since you have actual experience working as a fixer, I am sure you'll be able to give various types of guests a much better reception than I could. I'm just a washed up grade 9 fixer though. What's this reception all about anyway? Do I catch their eyes or be a waiter for them or something? It's simple, you just have to deal with the guests, in a physical manner of course. You rough them up, you shake them down, you take their pocket money, and you buy me a Pepsi. The library presents the guests with an ordeal, and books will open up in the process. The guests who have overcome the ordeal will be deemed worthy to earn their books. Jesus Christ. I like this though. There is the possibility that you may die in the process of reception, but it's only temporary. You'll get back up when the library closes. No one here may rest without my permission. <laughs> Do you happen to have some weird fantasies about fixers? Aren't you expecting too much from a grade 9? I'm not as talented as you seem to think, you know. That's none of my business. I prepared a manual for you, so go ahead and figure things out yourself. Go on, get on with it. Chop chop. I did click. Is everything okay? I'm not gonna skip anything. I think I get the gist of it now, so how does this invitation exactly work? Was I supposed to see something just then? Because nothing happened. Open up the invitation and register the books you wish to serve to your guests. And next? The invitation will be naturally sent to those who need the books. That's it. Sounds a bit too easy. The invitation is another carefully crafted work of mine, much like the library. Yes, think of it as a compass. It would be easier to understand that way. Ah, compass, as in the tool that tells direction. No, bruv, the tool that lets you draw circles. What do you think? That's right. The invitations will guide me towards the one book that I truly wish to obtain. And sometimes the invitation may turn red according to the books you've registered. I bet that's when good things happen. A red invitation indicates that it can be sent to the special guests who will unravel the next part of the story. Until we register the books that match what the red invitation wants, our journey will be halted for a bit. But there's no guarantee that the guests will always respond to the invitation, right? In fact, there is. They're destined to come. That's very optimistic. And the guests will accept the invitation of their own will and enter the library. That's surprisingly polite and fair for something that takes place in this city. Most of the time, people's lives are taken away by others without any consent or agreement. Well, anyway, once we get those books, what comes next? The library is a place of limitless possibilities. Even I cannot fathom the infinite space and power of this library just yet. That's why I wish to complete the library by filling that space with books. And I will get in my hands the one perfect book that will complete me and my library. The perfect book, huh? I suppose those books are different from the ones I know. I suspect they might contain abnormalities or people I don't know. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Ah, we're here now. So... I am going to talk over this because we've already done this once and I've already listened to it. Also, for the purposes of, um, copyright, right? Poor Roland. 
Poor Roland, he's having a rough time of it already. Um, yeah, for the purposes of copyright, I want this to be a not natural version of the intro so that when I do dispute a claim, I can be like, look, you people can't just come here and listen to this song and have it be a replacement for listening to your song. This is actually an LP series. I'm not trying to exploit your song. I'm just trying to make a series and hopefully make some money off of it. I don't know. But this is a very cool intro. And it tells you fuck all unless you know what's going on, which is great. And I don't know what's going on, so... But I wonder, why did she go to, like, the feather get-up and then go to, like, a nice librarian get-up? And who is this guy with the six arms? So, yeah, I'm sorry if you guys were like, yes, let's sit quietly and watch, listen to the intro. If you want to do that, go YouTube it, because, you know, it's there. Make sure Millie gets their money. I've already let them monetize the teaser because I was like, to be fair, the main feature of that teaser is the opening. So I was like, yeah, let them have the money. I didn't even dispute it. But for this series, I will. It's very cool. Yeah! Book, librarian, star, and city. I'm really excited. I've got all warm tingles and stuff. Oh, we're here, guys. Holy shit, okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's review the information on screen, go through it carefully, and make sure I understand what's going on. Actually, I need to pee first. Let's actually review the information on screen and see what I can figure out. The invitation. Dear guest, I formally invite you to the library. The library's books can provide you with all the wisdom, wealth, honor, and power you seek. However, an ordeal will await you in the library. If you cannot overcome this ordeal, you will be converted into a book yourself. Angela. Thanks, Angela. Books of the day. Three books. Addressee, unknown. Send invitation, okay. Choosing guests. A reception begins by sending an invitation to guests whom you want to invite. You'll want to navigate to the question mark to begin this process. This question mark or this question mark? I assume this one. Select the episode you'd like to play. With this panel, you'll provide the set of books required to start the episode. Units deployable, enemy acts, floors available. Book of something. What's up for grabs? This screen shows the list of books currently in the library's possession. Select the needed book now. Is it the book of, book of something? Continue along with the final preparations for the invitation. Um... Do I just... Do I just send invitation? Are we good now? What's... I mean, I can't actually explore this shit yet, okay? Um... Boy, I hope this gameplay is a little more simple than, um... Uh, uh, lob corpses. I just noticed there's a manual. Can I check that manual? Actually, whoops. Well, I undid that, but let me check the manual. You know what? I'll wait to do the rest of the manual until, you know, I want to see what's going on and then I'll look up information for it. I'm willing to accept that I'm probably going to fail a few times in general because I don't know what's going on. People have said the difficulty curve is vertical and um, apparently the tutorial is bare bones to non-existent. So, we'll just see what happens. I can go back to the manual at any time, really, can't I? Alright, I'm gonna send the invitation. When you're ready to send the invitation, confirm your choice with the send stamp. Let's go. Wow, guys. What's up? How's it going? Hey, it's Pete. He's a rat. Hey, hurry up and scrape them up now. Those Vigoons might arrive any second. Rat Lenny. I'm doing my best here. Hey, come on. I'm Lenny. <laughs> I just can't seem to get a clean rip of his guts. The contents of this guy are weirdly different. Now, I've never even heard of a body modification procedure that does this. Mang Chi. Well, that's a hell of a name. Something's off about these organs. They're looking really strange. Damn it, their footsteps are getting closer. Forget about clean guts. Just pull them out and take them. At this rate, our heads are going to get nicely chopped off our bodies. Why does he have this kind of stuff in his body? Whatever, just take him. We're out of time. Just about done. Now run. Oh, that was close. You're a bold one, Pete, going for a gut harvest in a territory managed by the Zvi. These are the only jobs we have left. We have to climb up by any means necessary, whatever it takes. You know my dream, right? To become one of the fingers of the back streets? No, I'll admit, it's rare to see someone with a dream these days. Let's sell off these guts we've hauled first. 
We gotta prepare enough cash to offer to the stray dogs. So, gut harvesting. Is this for modification purposes or... You know what? I think the game will tell me. I think if I wait, the game will tell me why the fuck people are harvesting guts, but that's an interesting one. True, this could be our chance to join an urban legend class syndicate. Alright, time to fucking hell, my phone fell off my desk, scared the shit out of me. Alright, time to check out the harvest. Hey, is this a joke? You sure you scraped up the right stuff? I told you, this guy didn't have a single proper organ inside him. I expect his innards soaked in drugs like in Keflin at worst. These are damaged too badly, it's almost like somebody, someone already blew them up. We only doused him with anesthetics, didn't do no harm. This doesn't make any sense. How could he have even walked around with these messed up organs? What if it's one of those? You know, rumors say there's a guy who skewers and threads people alive to turn them into dolls. That's fucked. Yeah, I've heard of that too, but look at the state of these things. Not the case at all. I hear those dolls are made by threading flesh and bones together, but this son of a bitch didn't even have any scars or stitches showing outside. Now that I think about it, there was a round orange symbol on the back of his neck. I thought it was a tattoo at first, but he see, didn't seem like the type to have one. He was a desk-working dweeb. Symbols? Tattoos? Damn it, please don't tell me we poked the wrong beehive. You did. Uh, besides that, yeah, this is my voice now. He also had this envelope in his body. What the hell is an envelope doing in a human body? This keeps getting worse. Give me that. An invitation to a library? An invitation? What? Huh? Are we putting these in, people? An invitation to a library? What's this about? Books. We can get books from the library. What a bunch of nonsense. There's a flop after- Here was a flop after all. The payment is due tomorrow. We got seven hours to be exact. That's too little time for another run of gut harvesting. We're heading to the library as the invitation says. I don't know what this book thing is, but we're out of options. We gotta take any chance we get. Isn't this just suicide? We don't know what kind of place it might be. Can't be any worse than dying to the stray dogs of the Svi Association. We're screwed anyway. Shut up and follow me if you want to live. What was that we just saw? Apparently we canonically saw that. Fragments of the invitation process. We can take a peek at the stories of our upcoming guests. Didn't take you for a peeping Tom? It's more convenient to know what kind of guests will visit us in advance, isn't it? Besides, this is the invitation's will, not mine. That's a splendid thing you got there, man. Prize upon, prize upon people and kidnaps them too. A perfect tool for crimes. Heck, if the invitation can do all that, why don't we just skip the whole reception part? Can't we just teleport them right into a room full of traps or something? I cannot do that. We can only take a peek when it has been decided that the guests are coming here of their own volition. An invitation's power isn't wholly mine, either. I am simply borrowing it. Yeah, yeah, no way anything can go smoothly in the city. They're desperate guests. Tell me, was the invitation responsible for that symbol and internal damage as well? What? No, not a chance. It doesn't have anything to do with what happened. The invitation simply finds a way to those who need it. That means those weird happenings were someone else's doing. I've never seen that kind of phenomenon back when I was a fixer. It's like something from the ruins. Ruins? I don't know a whole lot either. I only heard stories of it. Should I describe it as magic? That kind of stuff exists in the ruins, apparently. In any case, we simply greet our guests. They seem to be low class, but oh well. Those are probably a bunch of lowly gangsters from the back streets. We call them rats. They're rats. I like rats. They're not skaven, so they're good in my book. Groups of half-assed thugs that barely qualify as a syndicate. They don't have money or power. They're losers who only think about making ends meet day by day. Hmm, I might have just roasted myself there. I think you did, Roland. I think you did. The back streets. I know of them. You do? Someone I know is from the back streets. Well, that's nothing special, really. The back streets stretch all over the city like veins. Heck, it might actually be tougher to find someone who isn't from the back streets. Back streets back, all right? Hey, guys. So this is a library. Looks fancier than I thought. Dude, there could be a bunch of valuable things here. Greetings, dear guest. I like the, the finger snap. It's a very nice touch. This is the library. And I am Angela, the librarian of my role's namesake. Aunt, isn't Roland supposed to handle the reception? Why are you greeting them? You may find what you desire here, but you also may end up yielding your precious possessions to us. You the owner of this place? We're allowed to take whatever we want here, right? 
Indeed, you may earn books, to be exact. If you're able, of course. Are those books really worth a lot, though? Of course they can be, if the information they hold is valuable. Mang Chi, beggars can't be choosers. We gotta cling on to anything we can find. May you find your book in this place, then. Oh boy, oh, it's been beginning a stage play. Oh boy. The music is classy as fuck, by the way. I love me some classy music. Oh, classy music with a B, actually. That's the key. Strings with a beat. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Up here, you can see some bare information about the librarians who will participate in the reception. In this section, you can view detailed information about the selected character. Underneath, you can check the list of combat pages, cards, the selected character will use in the reception. So we've got Roland. He's he's a lad. He's an absolute boy. Okay? Patron librarian of Genworks page. All the details. Info on the guests that have accepted the invitation to the library is shown here. In this section, you can view detailed information about the selected character. Underneath, you can check the list of combat cards, pages even, cards, the selected character will use in the reception. Lights, camera, action. Select this bar or press the relevant button to start the battle when you've finished reviewing all available information. I have information to review, I'm afraid. So, you are fatally weak to slash, normal to pierce, weak to blunt, okay? And apparently stagger damage is a thing, but I don't know what that means. Dirty Blow, which is blunt damage. I don't know what blue means. Oh boy, this is gonna be this is gonna be tricky. Skitter away like the rat they are. So our boy, our boy Roland is weak to pierce damage, but normal to slash and fatally weak to blunt damage, which means surely uh, Dirty Blow is gonna kick his teeth in. He's got some basic attacks. Okay, I don't really think there's anything I can change right now. Oh, they all have their own individual stats, so you're fatally weak to pierce, and you're, fa you're fatally weak to pierce as well. Do we have pierce attacks? We do seem to, yes. I don't see anything else I can do here, so let's just... Yeah, who we've got is Roland, so let's begin the stage play. It's showtime! Oh boy, what are combat pages? This text describes the ability of the page, usually activated upon use. In combat, three types of offensive dice exist, each corresponding to a different damage type. This icon represents the slash damage type. When an offensive die with this icon is played, slash type, likewise pierce, likewise blunt. Yeah, I get the idea. Dice abilities. The ability of an action die, written on its right, may activate when the die is played on it based on its condition. Most abilities activate when the attack hits the target, or the die wins in a clash against an opposing die. During battle, use combat pages needs a resource called light. The amount of light a character currently has is indicated by the number of yellow icons above them. So action points. Or energy. When the scene begins, press the space bar to roll the speed die. Do I really have to do all this to make his dream come true? Go, go easy on us. Don't look down on us just because we're rats. Each of us has duties to fulfill in our own positions. Ah. So we press space to roll the speed die. I got a one. A higher speed value offers the following advantages. If the enemy speed is lower than yours, you can redirect their attack to you. Characters with higher speed values will act first. Please select the speed dice on the librarian. That is the speed dice, yes. This is the librarian's hand of combat pages, aka cards. Please select one of them. Can I check their weaknesses? You're weak to pierce. You're weak to slash, I think. And you're also, you're weak to blunt. I'm having a little trouble organizing the info on screen. It is very cool, though. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. So light attack, charge and cover, light defense. Now select the speed dice so that an opposing character to target them with the attack. So hang on, let me cancel that and look again. There we go, Lenny. You're fatally weak to blunt damage. Do we have blunt damage that we can throw out right now? Yes, we have a light attack. Hit Lenny with it. By pressing Q or clicking on the icon, you can toggle Quick Mode. In Quick Mode, the action dice are rolled automatically during battle, allowing combat to play out smoothly. When Quick Mode is off, the player must manually roll the action dice in each engagement by pressing or clicking space. I'm sure I'll do that eventually. Also, selecting combat pages with this utility, you can automatically fill the librarian speed dice with the combat pages in their hands. Targets are randomly determined. This makes the battle proceed quicker at the cost of precision and strategy. So, like that mode in Persona. I get it. 
These are visual indicators showing who, who the librarians and guests are currently targeting for attack. Toggle them by pressing 1, 2, 3 on the keyboard or by clicking the icons. I'm ready now. We'll see what happens. You know, I'm, I should go at the pace of the tutorial lest I fuck things up. When only one of the two opposing characters has dice to play, a one-sided attack occurs. This happens when its character targets an enemy that isn't targeting them back. Only offensive dice are played in one-sided attacks, and offensive dice will be retained until the scene ends or an enemy attempts a one-sided attack. So outnumbering targets can help you kill them. I see. When both characters in an engagement have dice to play, a clash occurs. This usually occurs when the speed dice of two characters target each other. Retained defensive dice or counter dice may also cause a clash. In a clash, the results of actions are determined by comparing their roles. Offensive dice can only deal with damage equal to the roll by winning the clash. Interactions between defensive dice follow the rules on the next page. Clashing two. Oh, I'm getting uh, flashbacks to the first episode of Lobcorp. Block dice. Winning a clash versus offensive dice completely blocks the damage, deals stagger damage to the attacker by the difference in value. Losing a clash versus mitigates damage. Winning a clash deals stagger damage. Evade dice. Completely negates damage. The ev evade die is retained. The evade die is lost. The character recovers stagger resist. Oh boy. Roland. Roland, you're doing well, I think. I, it seems to be. Honestly, I understood about 5% of that. All I know is that we hit Pete. Because I assigned a different attack, which actually overrid the attack that I previously chose to go on her. Them. They. I should say. Probably better to go for them, because I think I can do more slash damage, so I might be able to kill them quickly. Click to initiate combat. So, yeah, we're back in it now. Okay. So, two slashes. Oh, two slashes. So, we should use, um... Focus strikes on Pete. Let's see where we can go from there. Initiate combat. Let's go. Oh, God. Oh, double God. Fortunately, Roland is quite... Wow. Book of Rats obtained. I think it'd be a lot faster and safer to find a new body. Oh, fuck. I'm trying to read things. Taking physical damage will decrease the character's HP, indicated by the red gauge. When the HP of a librarian or guest is brought down to zero, they will die. Guests who meet their demise in the library will be resolved into books. The higher the guest's emotion level was, the more likely they are to yield books in greater quantity or quality upon death. Even if a librarian dies during combat, they will rise again once the reception is over. So you can win these fights really badly and still win, which is nice. I just think it'd be a lot faster and safer to find a new body. Damn it all, the dream is still so far away. Don't really care if you die. <laughs> I'd better not get impatient and get things done for certain. Okay, all right, lads. All right, well, we're not done yet, are we? You are fatally weak to uh, pierce damage. That's right. And you're fatally weak to blunt damage. That's right. Okay. Initiate combat. I like clicks, by the way. I don't know if you noticed, but when things click, it makes me very happy. So that's a lot of slash damage, which... Let's have a quick look at you. You're weak to slash and fatally weak to pierce. This does pierce and slash, so you're the logical next target. Go for it, Roland. Take him out. Oh, 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 he's fucking dead. Oh, no. Lenny, Lenny, I've come to like you. I've come to appreciate you, but... Uh, uh, it's over for you, my friend. It's over for you. Roland has taken some hits, though. It must be said. Emotion level one, yep. So you're weak to blunt, aren't you? Let me just clarify. Yeah, you're fatally weak to blunt. Which means, um... Light attack might be the way to go. I don't know if it's that important to go for fatal weaknesses. I'm just going with the information I... Oh, that was a hell of a clash! That was very cool. Okay. Alright. Lenny, you're fucked. A character may inflict or receive two types of damage. Physical and stagger. Attacks with stagger damage will reduce the target stagger resistance. Yellow gauge on hit. When stagger resist hits zero, the character falls into a staggered state, indicated by a broken speed dice. A staggered character will receive fatal damage from all forms of attack. Cannot act for the rest of the current and next scene. Cannot restore light at the beginning of the next scene. Cannot draw pages at the beginning of the next scene. A character restores one light after staggering an opponent. So stagger is important. And Lenny is fucked. Lenny, Lenny, my dude, Lenny, my dude. Focus strikes, it is over for you, I'm afraid. Amoya, Amoy Shinderu, etc., etc. Book of Rats. I didn't scrape at the bottom of my whole life just to die like this. Well, you did. Two shakes of a rat's tail. Curtain call for the reception of the rats. Lovely stuff. God damn, there's a lot going on. We got a lot of rat books. I love rat books. You can check the books you have obtained from the reception here. If you failed the reception, this part will show the books you have lost instead. You can check the battle symbols your librarians have obtained from the reception here. The Pied Piper. HP plus one. Now it's time to conclude the reception and exit the stage. 
Why is this all being presented like a, you know, a show, as it were, like a, a bit of theatre, when we're in a library? You could have called this Theatre of Ruiner, uh, but then you wouldn't have the book comparisons, but you could have scripts instead. Why have you gone for a Showtime aesthetic in a library? Don't get me wrong, it's fucking sick, and I love it, I just don't quite understand. Then again, does it matter? Not really. It serves its purpose, it's very cool, I'm happy with it. Close the curtains, we're done here. I wonder, is it so important for them to belong to a renowned syndicate? It's all part of the city life, you have to belong to a group, be it a syndicate, or anything else. Living in the city gets too rough otherwise. Evidently. Floor of General Works opened, level 1. You can now select the Floor of General Works during reception. A pleasure to burn. In this section you can burn the books that you have obtained. Why would I do that? Uh, the game seems to want me to do it though. You can see what the books in your possession have to offer before burning them. These books are also used for inviting the guests of subsequent episodes, so it is recommended to keep at least one copy in your possession. Here you can check the list of items that can be obtained from burning the book. Getting fired up. Press the relevant buttons to begin burning your books. You can burn up to 20 books at a time. So, Lenny's Page, Mang Chi, Pete. We have Gut Harvesting, Rats Guide to Survival. We have attacks. Okay, I'm just gonna burn it. Extraction of secret worlds. I don't know what's happening. When you burn books on a floor, you'll see a lovely animation in that floor's color, and you may randomly obtain pages of that book. Burning a book yields different pages each time, based on chance. Very good. There are two types of pages you may acquire from books. Key pages and combat pages. Key pages const const constitute a librarian's physique. They serve as equipment. Combat pages are the cards and techniques used by librarians in battle. The rarity of a page ranges from paperback, hardcover, limited to objet d'art. Yeah, I don't know. Pages of higher grades are more powerful, although rarer to acquire when burning books. Also, key pages have a set number limit of how many can be owned at once, which depends on rarity. Okay. <laughs> well, we got Lenny's page, and we got Mang Chi's page. Mang Chi was cool. I'm sad he's gone. Le I love you, Lenny. I'm sad you're gone. I'm, I'm sad everyone's gone. I'm always going to be sad. Pete was cool. I remember Pete. So these are some decent moves, I think. The only reason that they didn't really stand a chance against Roland is because they were miles below him in terms of power and durability. Okay. So it's recommended to keep at least one. That's what they said. Keep one book. We'll make it so we keep we'll keep two. We'll keep two. And then we'll do the lovely animation again. It's very pretty. La di da, s'il vous plaît, bonjour, je ne sais quoi. We got a lot of pages. We're not gonna struggle to equip ourselves, I suppose. Ah, yes, the equipment affects uh, durability, right? So, like, Pete is fatally weak against Slash, whereas Lenny is fatally weak against Pierce. I see how those differ now, okay? And these are all attacks, and we have a lot of them. Okay, well, I think that's all the Book of Rats we need to do. What's a credenza? Scenes of patron librarians. Oh, this is where we rewatch things. Okay, cool. Glad to have that in case if my recording breaks, I can always go back and watch cutscenes. Reading pages and books. There's not a lot of peeps who hang around. Oh my god, there's lore pages. Oh, cool. Well, you know what? Now we have a reading. Now we can do reading. We have we can have a reading series for Runa as well. I can read through those. I'll obviously need to accumulate a few before I do a video on that because, you know, we need to build up some so the video is worthwhile, but... So, if I were to click on Kita... Yeah, that was the battle, and we can talk about when they were harvesting that guy, and if we go to books, canard, rats... Yeah, and we can learn about these guys. Okay, excellent, cool. So the library? Please move over to this panel and select the library on the librarian on this floor to move to the combat page list. So, Roland. You can see the currently equipped combat pages here. This is a list of combat pages owned by the player. So this is the ones that, um... That Roland already has. These are the ones I've got. Focus strikes. Apparently you can only have one per floor because it's quite a powerful attack, it seems. Okay. So, dirty blow results in bleed, gut harvesting results in a lot of bleed here it seems with these special rat, rat attacks. Rats guide survival. 
onto it's a defensive move that also moves that also inflicts bleed. Whereas these are very basic attacks that are good for what they do, charging cover being more defensive, I suppose. I didn't want to take that out, actually. Roland seems fine the way he is. I think I'll leave him to it. Patron Librarian of General Works. Empty bookshelf. No, I'm good. So what is passive attribution? Hang on. Let's see if I can look that up. Gearing up librarians, perhaps? List of passive abilities on the equipped key page. You can click here to adjust its passive abilities. Okay. It doesn't seem that anything that Roland... Oh, what a wonderful collection. List of key pages currently owned by the player. Equipped page. You don't have one. So surely Roland would become stronger if I gave him a page. And these all seem relatively the same. So why don't we give him Lenny's page, for instance? That panel shows the information of the selected key page. You can check the deck, aka combat bookshelf, pass abilities and resistances. Okay. Current key page. This panel shows the information of the key page currently equipped by the librarian. Press the button to equip the key page to the librarian. The librarian's new threads. You can see the information on the newly equipped key page here. The deck of combat pages is bound to the key page, but you make sure to configure the deck after changing key pages. Okay, so certain suits, quote unquote, certain pages use certain cards. And cards are also called pages, but I'm. There's a lot of terminology here, okay? There's a lot, actually. So. Well, you've been equipped with Lenny's page, yes. So you need cards, which are here. And you can only use, right, he only gets to use uh, rats, rat things, because he's wearing rat armor. To so bite off, okay, I think I understand to some degree. It looks like the rats might be focused on damage over time and defensive maneuvering. We'll go for a light attack and, um,. Instead of, instead of, ooh, that's quite a good one, though. But we'll save this current setup. Look, there are going to be... Okay. Uh, there's going to be plenty of opportunities for me to, like, get more familiar with and customize this shit as time goes on, right? For now, Roland has a funny new outfit and a bunch of new attacks. Maybe it's... They've got more HP and more stagger resist, so I think it's made them stronger. I don't know. We'll see. Library, yep, Roland is there, ready to go. I imagine he won't have that outfit in the next cutscene. Invitation? So all we can do really is get the Book of Rats, right? Yeah. And presumably that will result in the same thing again, I have to assume. Send invitation? Send. Oh, different rats this time. Oh, okay, cool. Foiled again. I didn't go through all the trouble of becoming a fixer to do mundane chores like this. You know how it is, only a select few get to rise up in the ranks. He looks cool, he's got a fucking chainsaw weapon. But still, we might see the light, de light one day if we start out with smaller tasks, don't you think? I envy your optimism, Finn. But a request like, please find my lost cat before night falls is seriously not it. I would do it. Garbage officers get garbage requests. Yeah, Finn, you probably had better things in mind when you became a fixer. You know, a bigger field to play on. I'm sure I can move to a nicer office, or become an associate fixer someday if I keep working hard. Then I might... That's odd, there's this envelope in my pocket. It says the invitation. It smells fishy. Nah, it's a, it's a fishy envelope. Why did they wrap this envelope in salmon? <laughs> it smells horrible. Can't overlook something like this. Besides, if what's written on the invitation is true, those books would be of interest to several associations. It is interesting, but we don't exactly know what's in the library, right? We should report this to the office first and take care of it formally. I ain't about to feed a garbage office that won't feed me. We're going first if you don't wanna. And so they went to the library. They called themselves fixers, so you happen to be friends with them. What? Well, look, assuming all fixers know each other is... It's like picking two random pedestrians and hoping they know each other. Your question is basically asking these two strangers, you're both humans, so you must know each other, right? You get what I mean? Uh, I should expect to see many different kinds of fixes if what you're saying is true. Pretty much. 
Are we going into combat? Oh lord, we're here. Oh lord, we're here. Okay, so grade 9 Yun's fixer. I suspect... Yeah, Finn's not here, are they? Finn went to go report to the office. These two went on ahead. So you're fatally weak to pierce damage. They're both fatally weak to pierce damage and weak to slash. So focus on that. Try and avoid using blunt. Ah, oh, I could listen to this track forever. I could listen to this forever. And I, might, and I might after the episode ends. Although I'm scared to look up tracks in case I find spoilers. But I'm bopping my head right now. You can't see it, but I am doing it. All right, Roland, you got your new, your new digs, your new gear, your new outfit, your new drip. Let's go. As the battle progresses, the emotional tension of the librarians and guests will be heightened. Positive emotion points blue gained upon winning a clash or having advantages in battle, e.g. defeating an enemy. Negative emotion points red gained upon losing a clash or suffering disadvantages in battle, losing an ally. As the emotion levels of characters rise, the overall emotion of the teams they belong to will be heightened. When your team's emotion level goes up, you may choose an abnormality page to use at the beginning of the next scene. I want to use one, bro. They look stronger than I expected, so we can beat them, right? Should be more fun than looking for a lost cat, at least. All right, let's do this. Roland's going to fuck you up. I hope. Actually, Roland's a lot stronger than these guys. They should be okay. All right, Roland. Uh, let's see what you got. You got slash attacks. They're weak to slash, but not fatal to it. So uh, preferably a pierce attack if you're good. Uh, backstreet stash. We'll try that. No, my God, they're fucking dead. Roland, that was vicious. Roland, you took them the fuck out. Oh, that guy almost turned the tide and got me there. My heart's still pounding. I never realized how easily a person can die. I still can't believe it. They told me not to go. Maybe I should have listened. Ah, the drama, the emotion of battle initiate combat. I need to hear that click all the fucking time. It makes me happy. It makes me happy. Go for gut harvesting. Go on, Roland. Fuck him up. Oh, this is going to be big. Oh! Oh! You took his guts. Why do I have to die like this? Because you're a bitch. Curtain call for the reception of Yun's office fixers. It's a curtain call. It's a curtain call. Took them the fuck out. Book of a grade 9 fixer. You love to see it. No battle symbols gained because they weren't even worth Roland's time. Fucking amazing. Okay, burn books. Now's the time. So we still got two rat books, and we're gonna make it so we still have two grade nine fixers and burn those books, and it'll be a lovely animation with beautiful yellow colors. This is basically like loot boxes, but less insidious, or not insidious at all, in fact. Preparation thrust. This is a much more professional looking combat style because these are fixers. They might be low level, but they're still fixers. Oh, the drip ain't bad though. The drip ain't bad. Interesting. Okay, I might actually give that to Roland, because I feel like Roland suits a more professional-looking uh, set of gear, really. Because, you know, he's a, he, he is a bit... He's an informal character, as it were. He's very informal in how he is, but uh, overall, he's still... Uh, a suit still suits him better, or something approaching a suit. This, it's just a little bit more tidy than, than that. So evade seems like a good thing to have. Dodge and strike is absolutely my jam. You can still get backstreet stash, which as we saw was very effective. Oh, I think you can still use all of your shit actually. Get gut harvesting because apparently it, it, it's really good. Another dodge and strike because I really like it. Light defense, maybe a thrust, quickness, quickness. So we got two slash, we got three slashes, a pierce, that's blunt. We want one more blunt, I think, to make sure that we can actually do all forms of damage. Dirty blow, yeah, that'll work. Okay. And that's Roland set up. Passive attribution, slash of a grade nine fixer, fixer, 50% chance to boost slash damage. Now, did you get the Pied Piper thing? Where do I see that? Oh, librarian info, perhaps. Yeah, here it is. Okay, battle symbols. You can check the battle symbols. Combat pages. You can jump from the information tab to combat pages. You can jump from the librarian to key page. Okay. Yeah, the Pied Piper. HP 1. Obtain condition. During the Rats and Cow, defeat Pete, Lenny, and Mang Chi, all with a single character. 
So we'll give him Pie Piper and it makes him a little bit stronger. Very good. I would customize him, but now's not the time for that. It's looking like there's actually more um, librarians per floor than I initially expected. So quite a few of you might actually get in. You know, it's possible. I don't know. I don't know how the video game works, but this is fucking fascinating. So, round two with the grade nine fixes. I wonder if they'll send Finn this time. Send that invitation. Ah, Finn. That uh, guy's way taller than you. Sir, they still haven't responded back to us. Something must have happened in that library. Plenty of fixes disappear without a trace. Whether they died or ran off, further lack of response means a violation of contract, and they're facing expulsion from my office. Well, there's not a lot they can do now that they're books. And there is too little evidence to back up your claim about this invitation. A door appeared out of thin air when they signed the paper and they disappeared into that. Could be rich people's shenanigans, or a wing experimenting with its singularity. Yun's office does not have any time to spare with things like that. I might still be a grade 9 fixer, but I can sense that something's off about this. Oh really? How tragic that such good instincts of a grade 9 fixer are wasted on our humble office. Hmm. Listen up, little frog in the well. In this city, insane events happen every second of the day, most of which you haven't even heard of. You won't have time to be feeling off about something when there's numerous other things that need your attention. If you can't present visible evidence right now, it's not worth looking into. What about that envelope right in front of you, operator? What? <laughs> you little brass trying to pull a cheap trick on me? I didn't do anything, I swear. It wasn't me. It must have been the wind. <laughs> Get out for a moment. Hey, this is Yun's office. Got a good lead this time. Lend me some cash so I can hire a few. No, seriously, I have a good feeling about this. I wouldn't. True, it can end up failing like you said. I can check just one more time if you want. I'm not exactly fond of this method, but... Yep, I have one guy fit for the job. Oh, poor Finn. It seems fixers must report to their office before they can even begin working. Well, that's formally the case. I could bypass that since I ran a one-man office, though. Fixers aren't any better than syndicates when it comes to greed. And it looks like this guy is trying to exploit a naive kid, too. Oh, poor Finn. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I think you were the original target anyway. So this is the library. Yeah, Yun said we might even get sponsorship from an association if I succeed. I'll do my best. Greetings, Fixer. I am Angela, the librarian of my role's namesake. Hello, I'm Finn, a Fixer at Yun's office. Is it true that I could find books containing lots of information in this place? Yes, of course. You were given the invitation for that exact reason. May you find your book in this place. Ah, uh, yeah, about that, though. Uh, Finn's relatively tough, but fatally weak to blunt damage, which... Yes, Roland does have covered, although it's not his specialty, but we should be alright. Let's go in. All right, Roland, time to do your thing, buddy. Seems like I can easily dodge your attacks, hmm? I still have much to learn as a great knife fixer, but I hope to have a good fight nonetheless. You're fucked, buddy. I don't know how to tell you. I don't know how to tell you this, but you're screwed. You are entirely screwed. We don't have any blunt attacks, but that's okay. So in a situation like this, perhaps a light defense might be the way to go. Let's have a look. Let's find out. I haven't played with defense cards yet. Oh, interesting. That was a little bit of tomfoolery there, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. It seems like defensive attacks focus more on taking stagger damage rather than health damage. So you can only use defensive attacks for a while before you're putting yourself in a really dangerous situation. Quickness could work. On the use, gain one haste next scene. Yeah, go for it. Max damage. Oh, boy. Oh, that didn't go well. Damn, yeah, motion's going down. Or it's going up. I think it went up. I don't know, I can't tell. <laughs> it scares me and I'm confused. So, your defenses. Your defenses. Let's have a look at you. Oh, you're fatally... Oh, you're fatally weak to pierce. Oh, I see. Well, backstreet stash then. Mess him up. Oh, God. Well, that kind of did him in, didn't it? Uh, yeah, Thrust will do it, I think. He's been staggered and everything. He's done. He's out. Go for a big one. Oh, God. Book of Finn obtained. I didn't want to die like this. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Finn. Curtain call for reception of Yun's office rookie. Yeah, he's fucked. So he was stronger than the other two, it must be said. Good on you, Finn. You did a good job. But, uh, you're nothing against Roland, I'm afraid. 
Oh boy, it's not all that delightful to see such a young rookie fall like that, all things considered. You said yourself that our way is quite polite and fair before, didn't you? That most of the time people's lives are taken away by others without any consent or agreement? The library is different. People who enter this place have agreed to risk death to gain what they want. They even signed the paper to show such agreement. No coercion or compulsion is involved in this process. They make their own choice and pay accordingly. Yeah, but there's the whole exploiting desperation kind of thing. You know. Especially with the rats. Because the rats were desperate and needed something. So it's like, oh, it's your choice to risk your life. But you basically don't have a choice because if you don't do this, you have nothing. Well, yeah, fair point, but still, it feels kind of dirty in a way. It does indeed. Each floor will present you with a set of assignments. Completing the assignments will unlock an abnormality battle. Let's go. When the floor assignments are completed for a floor, a battle against an abnormality will become available. Clearing abnormality battles will raise the floor's realization level. This is the current library's current hazard level as perceived by the city. Raising the realization level of each floor will increase the library's presence as a threat. The library's hazard level will rise once the gauge is filled. What does that mean? Oh goodness, I have no idea. We'll throw a couple books of Finn in the pile and see what we get. I suspect we'll need to prepare for fighting an abnormality anyway. What did we get? Finn's page. Eh, not bad, not bad. Wallop, thrust, wallop, struggle. Gain suit protection next scene, a lot of defensive bonuses. Nice, 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 good, good, good. Well, hold on. I know you, I should probably burn them all so I have one, but I still want to stay to two, to be honest. So we'll go back to the library. We'll have a quick look at Roland. Um, and we'll compare Finn's page to what he currently has. It looks like it's slightly better, actually. I mean, it's relatively the same, actually. When an ally di dies, gain one strength next scene. Well, that's useless for Roland right now because he doesn't have any friends. You hear me, Roland? You have no friends. You are alone, Roland. You have no friends. Library. I want to do this. I want to do it. You seem to be doing your job meekly and well for someone who complained so much. Well, what else did you expect after greeting me in such a violent manner? Heck, I was shocked hard. I find myself in the middle of nowhere and the first person I meet blows off my limbs. I was lost at first, but I get the gist of receiving guests now that I've tried it a few times. Though I do still have a complaint complaint. Sheesh, man, again with the stare. Can't say a thing. Just tell me what you mean. Uh, I mean, well, it's kind of tough to receive all the guests alone. Guests arriving one by one I can deal with, but when a whole group enters, the first thing that comes to my mind is, how the hell am I supposed to fight all of them? There's got to be a point where one person is no longer enough, right? It's only working right now because all we've been facing were minor syndicates and stuff. And the whole fuss about heightening emotions. You said I can't just kill the guests right away because of that. Mmm, mm, that's a pout. That's a pout. <laughs> that's a real pout. What's that odd face hinting at? There is a way, technically speaking, although I'm not certain if it's for the best. You're gonna join in the fights yourself? God, she would decimate them. I can tell. No. There are entities that could be of help, however. And those entities are... The beings that used to wield tremendous strength and power, but are now too transient to maintain a physical form, hardly holding on to existence. I remember seeing any living being in this library other than you and me. They're asleep inside books where the perfect environment for them is simulated, along with librarians who will be of assistance to you. Librarians? Entities within books? That's all you need to know about them for now. What matters more is that they can be useful for the library's growth. Alright, let's say that's the case. How are those sleeping entities supposed to help us, exactly? You have to enter their books and free the librarians trapped within. I believe they're under the influence of the abnormality's powers for various reasons. Since they're highly unstable, they won't easily trust us. You're basically saying they'll take us for invaders. Yup. If you can overcome all ordeals presented by them, they will come to accept you. Instructions still unclear, ma'am. You said they're as mighty as wet paper now. You're sure they can give any help? We are not making the abnormalities receive guests for us. If they can be understood and accepted, they will empower the librarians, directly or indirectly. Still too ambiguous, I've got to say. Anyhow, what you're saying is that they'll present us with ordeals, basically, and we have to overcome them to earn their recognition and borrow their powers. Entering books. Sounds like something out of a fairy tale. We'll need their power to heighten the emotions of our guests to the peak, after all. I wish you success in there, because if you don't, you'll probably die. Sure, sure, although we can't die. Sure, sure, anything you say, ma'am.
Anything you say. Will you enter the book of bloodbath? <laughs> now that's a quote. That's a quote. Will you enter the book of bloodbath? Oh, that sounds like a good time. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Let's go. That's not what bloodbath looks like, but... Then again, we never saw a physical form. Angela's right. This place really is bizarre. There are creepy blood-looking blood clots all over the place, too. Scars are but marks of failure. You won't be any different. This is really cool immediately, can I just say? The difference in visual presentation, I don't want to face any more pain. Oh, hold up. Let me listen. How many more failures must I bear until you're satisfied? Is this a remix of First Trumpet? This is a remix of First Trumpet. Let's fucking go. And the click. Oh, this the sound effects, the audio just direction in sound effects suits everything very well. Okay, so. Bloodbath. Take one to less, five less damage from slash attacks. Lose three speed. Boost the max value of block dice by plus three. This thing is... Ah. Yeah, I've been looking at resistances. List of passives. So yeah, I've been looking at those as well. Yeah. So you are weak to blunt attacks and fatally weak to their stagger. Okay. So do I have... Oh, I only have slash attacks. I didn't set up well for this. Maybe I'll go for an evade and we'll see what happens. See if I can draw something better next turn. This probably isn't going to be very hard, but it's worth being careful. Can you withstand this deep despair? No, that didn't work. Don't worry, Roland. We'll figure it out. Oh, guys. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is just... Oh, it's just a 10 out of fucking 10. We'll go for a light defense. We should inflict some damage at the very least. Ah, oh, an exchange, but nothing occurred. Can your petty courage leave a deep enough scar, I believe? This is very cool. Oh, God. Fucking damn it, this is awesome. All right, thrust. Let's go for some damage. Damn, this thing is tough. Abnormalities are no joke. A knife driven by a vaguely aroused will doesn't have what it takes to end a life. Wh How has this turned Bloodbath into, like, the coolest abnormality in the game? <laughs> I can't wait to see the rest. That was good. We need to be careful. Both, both sides' stagger has gotten real low, but if we can win the next exchange, uh, we should be okay. We're going to go for gut harvesting. See if we can do some serious damage here and now. Yes, there it is. Yes, get him. Go on, Roland. You absolute legend. Let's do this. He's weak. Now's the time to get him. What have you got? Just in time for some blunt damage, perhaps. It seems like the time for it. Go for it, Roland. Oh, yeah. Now, he's gotten his stagger back, but he is weakened. Uh, I've noticed that Roland hasn't really recovered his stagger. Is there a way to recover stagger damage? I haven't seen it. I might check the manual after this. Maybe I'll check the manual. Yeah, I'll check the manual. Gut harvesting. I don't have enough energy. Right, yeah, that is an issue. One to eight bleed through next scene. That might be enough to kill him. That didn't go well. Roland is doing his best. He's kind of out of his depth right now. He's never seen this shit before. He's a little scared. We'll go dodge and strike and save up for gut harvesting. It didn't work very well. It did not work. Oh, Roland, my dude. That did not go well for you. You're just going to have to eat the next hit, body. That's all there is to it. Ooh. I mean, I feel like this is a fight where you're pretty much set up to win, but it still feels like an event, you know? It feels like things are going down. Gut, mm, gut half dirty blow's got to do it, surely. Big blunt damage. Go for him. He just can't get through. I must... Mm, his defenses are very good. Try for quickness. See how that goes. Jesus Christ, Rollins. What are you doing? He's just losing all these clashes. You're gonna have to eat the next hit. All right, Roland, it comes down to this. Win or die. He won't die, but you know. 
win, basically, I guess. I don't know. This is so cool. I doubt you're going to be able to kill him in the next round. Um, we're going to save up for gut harvesting again. Go for a dodge and strike. That did not work. I didn't expect to die to some weird monster. Defeat. Roland, you fucked it up. Suppression of bloodbath failed. I assume I get to try again, though. I hope so. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be a bit of a downer. Yeah, I do. Okay, well, let's sort out Roland's bit, then. Um, shit, I didn't check what um, damage... I didn't really look at what damage bloodbath does. Ah, that's an issue. All right, Roland. Uh, maybe we can get you a better key page. So... You're equipped with that, which is... We were taking a lot of fatal damage, which implies me to believe the bloodbath does slash damage. So if you equip Finn's page instead, there we go. And we'll get you some new cards and uh, everything will work out. You'll be fine, buddy. Don't worry. We'll send you in there with some good stuff. We want blunt damage for this. Go for a light attack. Skitter away. Struggle. Struggle will be really good, actually. Dirty blow. Skitter away seems especially valuable. That was so cool, though. The presentation, the visuals, the remix of First Trumpet, which is my favorite track in all of Project Moon so far. I love First Trumpet. I know many of you prefer the other ones, and I respect your choices, but something about First Trumpet is just the right... Actually, we want to replace this real quick. One quickness, and we'll throw in Dodge and Strike. Something about First Trumpet is just the coolest thing in the world to me. It's such a fantastic tone setter. And we're about to go back in, so... Oh, God, this is awesome place really is bizarre and the click the click the click it's so good it's so fucking good i can't it's too much for me ah it's too good we'll gain some quickness on the next scene roland keeps losing these it must be said is there something about these cards i'm not looking at properly does the light cost of each card affect um their ability to win clashes. I should have checked the manual, I forgot. Try this. I don't get it, he's just eating hits. There's clearly something I'm missing here. Try Skitter away. I don't know how I managed to do well to begin with, but it's not happening anymore. That was good, that was good. Good job, Roland. You absolutely nailed it. Okay, so I think through using those defensive abilities, when they're successful, we actually gain stagger. I know this is information that was shown to me previously, but there's just been so much information that I'm kind of struggling to, you know, remember it all. Interesting. It's a real duel, though. I love the idea of dueling an abnormality, by the way. It's the coolest shit. I don't know if you've noticed, but it is. Absolutely fantastic. Go for skewer away again. That seemed to have good results before. No. It's okay. His stagger is really low, so if we can score a good stagger in return. Oh, blunt damage. Are you using blunt damage? I'm getting a little confused. It's okay. I've just started playing. Go for a dirty blow. See what you can get going. There we go. That's what you want to see. And the next attack is free, so let's make it count. Oh, God. Oh, my God, guys. Seriously, fuck it. This is incredible. We don't have a lot to go for. Um, he's resistant to slash damage. So light attack would be the way to go, because it has at least pierce along the side of it. Oh. 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 I love it. Oh, I love it. I can't. Oh, it's too much for me. <laughs> Go for it, Roland. Take him out. Roland's such a legend. Get him. Took him down. Good job, buddy. Victory. Breaking the immerse their immersion. Suppression of Bloodbath complete. Bloodbath was so cool. I didn't expect it to be. It was just a blood guy, and yeah, it was cool. Floor of General Works. Realization. Level up. Level 1 to level 2. One assistant librarian's awoken. You now have access to new abnormality pages. The emotion level threshold has increased to level 2. A new assignment has been added. I noticed it saying Malkuth just then. Floor of General Works. Abnormality page acquired. Blood. 
Unbearable depression overwhelms all who look into the buff. Single ally, defensive dice gain one to two power, receive plus three to five stagger damage when hit. So these are... Oh, excuse me, I'm talking too much, and I'm making myself burpy. So there are upsides and downsides to every card. Scars. When I saw the lattice work of scars on her severed wrist, I was reminded of our wine cabinet. That day, I popped the cork off the last one. Single ally, take for two to five less damage from slash attacks. When hit, reduce the damage of the attack to zero at a 20% chance. So scars is really good. Pale hands. Many hands float in the bath. These are the hands of the people I once loved. Single ally, after three successful attacks on the same target, deal three to ten bonus stagger damage. Resets upon attacking a different target. Excludes mass attacks. And we have an abno- we have- not an abno. We have a librarian. We have a new librarian. In this customization menu, you can edit your librarian's name, title, appearance, body size, and dialogue. Please enjoy creating your nuggets, and remember to save before leaving the screen. Oh boy. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen. I have put myself in the video game. There's very good customization options in this, actually. It's really good. I'm happy with my nugget, and I'm looking forward to putting all you guys' nuggets in there as well, but I assume we'll need to complete more abnormality suppressions before we can do that. But that'll be then. This is now. Here's me. I love Pete's jacket. I'm glad I've got it. I'm sure we'll unlock a better drip as time goes on. These changes have been saved. There's me. There's Roland. Your very own nugget. Yeah, they knew. Yeah, they knew. Here's me. Oh, I love having a me. Yeah, I need to equip my shit. Okay, so, um... Key page. Question is, will this actually affect my shit? No, I can maintain my appearance regardless, so I can go into my, um... Customization options to change stuff up if I ever want a different look. I guess I'll go Finn's page, because it's... I don't know, it appears to be blue, which appears to be a higher rank. So that seems like a smart idea. So what attacks do I want? Rats Guide to Survival, definitely. On Clash Win, Restore One Light, that seems good. I like the idea of having a more defensive character. Dodge and Strike, definitely. Evade, definitely. My character will probably play very badly. Struggle. Charge and Cover, so let's have a look. I've got Slash, Pierce, Pierce, Slash, and Blunt. I'm gonna need another Blunt. Skitter away, I like it. We'll throw in a big special, and then we'll throw in a, uh... We'll throw in a free, so I've always got something to play. And that's me. That's, that's Foreman. Lovely. Okay, cool. Awesome. Okay, so, Floor of General Works. Unlock all lower floors. Rise to the rank of an urban myth. Rise to the rank of an urban legend. So there's gonna be a lot to do. We have an abnormality page. We have Bloodbath. Are these randomized, I wonder? Or if it, is it set abnormalities for each floor? I don't know. So burn books... Yeah, we've burnt all our books. Now we go for an invitation. Free. Book of Finn. Yes. Okay, yeah, so now we've got a proper next one going as well. Oh, this is so cool, guys. I can't really gush about how cool this is. I'm so excited to see my nugget in combat. Oh, wow, she's significant. <clears throat> Finn has failed as expected. He wasn't going to last too long anyway. He was just mediocre. He should have gotten a decent modification surgery or had enough talent to make up for his lack of experience. But he didn't have any of that. He was nothing more than an overconfident brat. Too bad. I kind of liked his affable and cutesy attitude. Though I agree, he was bound to die sooner or later. Congratulations, by the way. You must have more options now that you're a grade 8 fixer. Yep. So you better be careful. If you don't pay me well enough, I might move to another office. Dickhead. Heard that you're barely covering your own taxes these days, let alone the monthly rent for this office space. Am I wrong? I believe the case I had Finn handle could make a breakthrough. You mean the library and the invitation you talked about earlier? But you said the invitation appears randomly, no? How the hell are you going to get another one? I wouldn't have called you if I didn't have certainty. I recently received another invitation. Wow, you're just going to keep throwing fixes at us until you eventually show up yourself, you coward. Hmm, is that so? The existence of our office depends on this case. The library is sure to be profitable, I have a hunch, so we're giving it everything we have. Alright, let's roll in some dough. I just bought this lovely thing here from a workshop, too. It's a chain sword. You have a chain sword. That's very cool. These guests seem quite determined. We should prepare accordingly. A whole office coming at us, huh? It may be a small and insignificant one, but it could prove to be a little tough for the library right now. What if they make it all the way to your room? The guests cannot act outside of the space we've prepared for them. It's how this place works. After all, this space is created with limitless power. 
yet you somehow jumped right into my room when you weren't even invited. Anyways, I'm capable of protecting myself, so there's nothing for you to worry about. Yeah, she blows off limbs very well. <clears throat> oh, Yun's here too. Shit, okay, right, he's coming here himself. Okay, interesting. All right, I guess we're kicking it off then, aren't we? Greetings, dear guests. You must be the owner of this place. She doesn't even look that strong. Uh, careful what you wish for there, sir. Finn must have been here earlier. What happened to him? Ah, uh, that one has become a book. He's a book now. Is that a little Burrowing Heaven eye on her um, chest thing there? That looks like Burrowing Heaven's eye. I might be looking way too into that, but it looks like Burrowing Heaven's eye. I know that look anywhere. I see. So you turn into a book if you die here. Mmm, I don't want to be a book. No, oh, no. Being a book wouldn't be good for my taxes. Acting all sentimental when you were the one who sent him here, knowing he'd fail? Shut up. Shut up, we all get exploited and abandoned at some point in our lives. I'm acting like the victim now. May you find your book in this place. Our new librarian's gonna rip your shit up. It's me. I'm the new librarian. Some receptions are composed of multiple acts. You can check the number of acts in the reception here. So what's an act? Up to three librarians. Well, we only have two, so that's moot. Visual indicators for the number of acts and their order can be found here. Ah, oh, so he starts by sending in two randos, and then in the next act, I'm going to assume he'll join the battle himself. I don't know, I can't check, or if I can, I don't know how. But we appear to be ready. Although, actually, come to think of it, us both having Finn's page was probably not a good idea, because we're both fatally weak to piercing damage. And they do have piercing damage. Um... They both have- yeah, so there's no point prioritizing one over the other, just hit one till it falls and then hit the other. You're fatal against- fatally weak to blunt and you're fatally weak to slash. Okay, I think we can work with it. Begin stage play. It's showtime! As the emotion levels of characters rise, the overall emotion levels of the teams they belong to will be heightened as well. When your team's emotion level goes up, you may choose an abnormality page to use at the beginning of the next scene. There are two types of abnormality pages, Awakening, Blue, and Breakdown, Red. Awakening pages typically consist of purely beneficial effects for the user. Breakdown pages offer powerful effects that come with drawbacks. Each floor offers a different set of abnormality pages to choose from. The likelihood of each type of page being presented depends on the ratio of positive and negative emotion points in the team's build up. It's showtime! Yeah, we got this. It's me! I'm here! Oh, this is awesome. Okay. So... You're fatally weak to blunt, you're fatally weak to slash. What do I have right now? Can I look at my cards? Oh, do I need to click to initiate combat? No, I don't- a fucking video game! Whoopsie daisy, yes indeed, video game, yes indeed, whoopsie daisy. Okay, we've rolled the dice. I needed to click on the dice to see I didn't do that. Okay, so you're- Fatally weak to slash, and you're fatally weak to blunt, and I've got pierce, blunt. Well, I'm going to need to make some moves happen. Because I skipped my first turn like a fool, and it seems like the best way to do it is to not try and gang up on one, but instead fight them one-to-one -one so you don't end up with, uh... You know, like, the defensive negatives of being ganged up on. So you're weak to slash, and fortunately... Roland does have something they can use here. Okay, so we begin combat for real this time. Oh, that didn't go well. I'm not do- Oh. Oh, there we go. I did a good. I did a good. Okay. I'm doing all right with my knife. My knife is doing okay. So I've got struggle. You're weak against blunt. We'll go for it. Roland, you're not doing great. I need you to step it up, buddy. We'll try a defensive move, but move most of our targets in on her to see if that works. Oh, that was good. You took a bad hit. I finished them off. One and done. Yes. Sc ah, now we can do this. I can't remember if they were using slash attacks. I'm going to go with Scars. Please select a librarian. Oh, we'll give it to Rollins, just in case. Scars are marks of failure, but they aren't worthless. And the music's now picking up. The music's now picking up. I believe she's going for me. 
and uh, she's gone. She's gonna go first. You're weak to slash. Yeah, you're that one. Okay. All right then. Uh, Rollins doesn't have a lot they can work with. Hang on. Let's have a look at you. You are weak to blunt, so we can still use blunt to our advantage. Okay. But you go all in on attack because they're targeting me, and I will use a defensive move. Let's see how that goes. Oh yeah. Set him up so Rollins can take him down. Oh, buddy, we work so well together, my friend. We do, we do. And now this should be one and done, really. Like, I don't think they can really stop us. We'll go for a struggle just in case. Go for it. Done. There we go. You'll love to see it. <laughs> Act 1's curtain closed on floor of general works. So now we've got Act 2, don't we? I assume, which is going to be the boss fight. Do we keep our health damage is the question. It looks like we do. It looks like Roland's health is lower. But now we're fighting Yuan and Eri. Uh, Eri is fatally weak to blunt, and Yuan is fatally weak to slash. And we don't have a lot of slash damage, actually. But there's not a lot we can do other than just go for it. I might lose this first time round, but I did miss a scene in my defense. We lose against a gang of half-baked nerds like you. Ah, uh, well, you'll see, won't you? You'll see. There we go. So you're weak to blunt. It'd be worth taking you out first. They're both targeting me. Interesting. So I'm probably going to want to go defensive for this one. Which is just as well. I don't really have any slash attacks to work with. You are weak against Pierce. And you are normal against Pierce. Okay, so I should definitely target her then. Go for preparation. And then Roland. See, yeah, they're both targeting me. And Roland has these things. Go bite off and see what we can do. She and I exchanged and it kind of went neutral. I took hits from fucking Yun because he's a bastard. Pale hands. Give that to Roland. She must have trembled hard. The knife can slip from her hand at any moment. Okay, so we're going second. They're both attacking Roland this turn. Okay. Still weak to blunt. I'm really having to remind myself of shit all the time. We'll go for a struggle. We want him to target Eri because he did before. And then I should probably move on to fighting Yun and have uh, Roland finish Eri off. So we'll have you do a dodge and strike because it's a better defensive move. You did land a successful attack, but you took a lot of hits. Oh, I messed her up. So if if, um, if Rollins can land one more attack on her, she's good to go. He's good to go. They're good to go. He, she, we, all good to go. I'm pretty sure Roland will land the attack as well, because uh, she's got nothing. She's currently staggered and has one HP. So I'll go for, uh, I'll go for Yun, which is going to be a bit of an engagement, but you know. Dodge and strike seems like the way to go. Let's go for it, boys. I failed, but that's okay. Took her down. And now we're going to absolutely pile in on Yun. Yes, we are. I'm going to go gut harvesting. Skitter away for defensive bonuses. That's good. And I'm going in for the pick one. <laughs> and oh boy, did it work. Hell yeah. Oh, it's dope. Oh, it's cool. Oh, it's dope. Rats Guide Survival. We're just going to go all in. Just going to go all in. Just take him out right now. Dirty blow. And I got the killing blow. It's me. You'll love to see it. Oh, curtain call for the reception of Yun's office. Get wrecked. We have very much succeeded in what we did. We did very good. Emotion level bonus. We got additional book of Eri. I got multiple things unskilled amateur and determined challenger two percent chance to boost stagger damage of each type by plus one we both got unskilled amateur is that because we fucked up at one point because <laughs> we skipped a turn curtains close excellent this guest named yun can make an especially valuable book for us they're all like moths diving into flames 
That young guy seemed like a clever sort, but even he ended up blindly jumping into the fire to get what he wanted. Once you've had a taste of desire, it comes in like an unstoppable wave. It is a quote I heard a long time ago. A guy called Benjamin. But is that desire true to one's heart? Well, aren't you funny? You said you despise roundabout speech, and now you're being all poetic. 10 out of 10 delivery. A certain librarian I know would have taken an arm and a leg off if she heard that. Get back to sawing books. It's just as Angela said, we really got another floor to the library. Hey there, my name's Roland. Oh, it's Malka. It's Malcute. <laughs> I love Roland's. <laughs> look, at, look at this asshole. <laughs> I don't know why that tickles me so much, but that's so fucking funny. Look at him. The grumpy prick in the corner. I'm sorry, that's so funny. I love Roland. He's fantastic. It's Malky. Angela, I still can't forgive you. Angela, you... I thought we were already done with that topic. Obviously, we're not. You simply need to cooperate without complaint. Yeah, because Malchus going to do that. That was the deal, remember? And try to appreciate that fleshy body of yours you finally earned back. Did you really think you could make me happy by just giving me a human body? Good news, Simpers. Apparently, you're justified now because they're not robots anymore. They're not... Well, actually, I think... Is Angela still an AI? I don't know. Hmm. Don't forget, I still don't agree with you. Very few people do. As you wish. Hi, Malcolm. Damn, that was tense. <laughs> You're such an asshole. Hello there, I'm the patron librarian in charge of the floor of history. Malcolm. You seem lively, at least. What was going on just now? I have some unfinished business with Angela. We all do. Everyone kind of does, actually. You probably heard bits of it, but I have no choice but to follow her orders no matter how I feel. I am in the same shoes as yours, though we have seemed to have ended up here for different reasons. So what can I do for you? You can bring me books, Roland. Since I'm in charge of the floor of history, I'll be sorting the books you bring and collecting those that are about history. Us librarians will then read the collected books, gradually making our floors whole and completing the library itself as an extension and we'll naturally get to unlock more floors and awaken their patron librarians in that process. So the other librarians are asleep for now. Yep, they are. I get the gist of it. You're surprisingly bright for someone who was so upset moments ago, by the way. I was kind of worried I might have to endure some of that wrath. I can't let my personal affairs get in the way of work now. I still have my problems with Angela, but it's not like getting mad about it will do me any good. I've got my own reasons to do my best with this work too. All right, let's do your best. Yeah. Cool, Malkith's here. Floor of history opened. Jesus, so we've got another floor and haven't even um completed the first one yet. So you can now select the floor of history during reception. A patron librarian has awoken. Floors with open doors. This middle portion allows you to navigate the information of the floors that are currently available. More floors will be unlocked when certain conditions are met. New librarians are shown on new floors. Oh my god, Malkith's actually... They... The Sephirat- well, they're not Sephirat anymore, really, but they actually lead the teams. You can view the information on a newly opened floor here. You can check the librarians, floor assignments, and abnormality pages. So, we play as Malkith. That's awesome! That's so cool! So she actually fights on the front line. And you can customize them. I'm glad I can't rename her. I wouldn't want to. I can choose what- hang on, if I can choose what outfit I give them. Yeah, complete. That's fine. Change has been saved. I didn't do anything. But if that's the case, then there is something I want to do. Let's go back to Kita, go back to Roland, go to Library Info. Customize Roland. I want to give him his uh, initial look back. There we go. There we go. That's how it needs to be. Roland looks excellent in a suit. Complete. So that's really cool that you get to choose all the uh, appearance options that you've unlocked, but don't actually have to equip the corresponding key page in order to have that parent appearance. Hence why I still have my coat. Amazing. The crew never left, but came back. Amazing. So we'll burn six, we'll a bunch of those. We'll burn one of those. We'll burn two of those. Do a big burn. Should I have burned that? Does it matter what floor I burn it on? I guess. I don't know. Aries. We got two of Aries page. I don't think we got a Yun page, though. 
So we're going to want to try and uh, grind that to get Yun's stuff, which I might end up doing off camera. Well, let's check the new customization option we just got. Oh, we got a, it's all about the drip, guys. It's the drip. Customization. Appearance projection. That looks terrible. That does not look good on me. Nah, it's all about that. I'm a strange-looking librarian, it must be said. So it would be worth it to vary up me and, um... Roland's key pages so that we're not both weak to the same thing. The Art of Defense boosts the max value of defensive dice by 3%, by 3 at 25% chance. So I'll equip that. I like the idea of being a more defensive fighter anyway. And that'll be my loadout. Take three hits with Finn's key page equipped. Unskilled amateur. I mean, I am an unskilled amateur. It's true. Interesting. So, in Malkov's floor, we haven't unlocked a new thing yet. We've burnt the books. May as well keep going, I suppose. I can do grinding off camera, so no reason to not push ahead during the videos, right? And then I can keep you guys updated on what changes have been made, you know, in following episodes. Where I can be like, hey, I got this, blah, 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 you know. It'll be fine that way. So we can keep a solid pace while also grinding out stuff to ensure that we're strong enough to win. Oh, it's Whoa, Brothers of Iron. Mo, you guys should regularly refill your head with brain fluid. A uh, dry brain dulls your thoughts. Oh, I knew I've been feeling so hazy these days. Where are we going to rob this time? Uh, I think we should go for a workshop. Workshops are rich and they have useful components too. How about an office? We, sh we, could we should learn some, inf earn some infamy if we take down an office or two. I don't think we'll get anything valuable from the offices we can take on right now. A uh, restaurant then. I like delicious stuff. You, you moron, did you, did you already forget why we got our new bodies? Because we wanted to focus on earning without having to worry about food or sickness. That's right, we're enduring like crazy. These bodies just need brain fluid, fuel, and some repairs from time to time. We can make money without feeling hungry or thirsty. That's true. It costs a fortune to get ourselves whole body replacements, but it's still uncomfortable. I don't know, I don't have to eat anymore. But I keep thinking about all the tasty things I had before, and it makes me want to taste them again. That's because we got cheap bodies for a cheap workshop. They're really cool, though. These designs are incredible. We just have to earn more. Then we can replace our bodies with better ones. The most expensive ones can even adjust emotions and completely shut off desires, on top of having good performance. But those are almost ex as expensive as a Nest household. We can worry about that later. Let's focus on money-making for now. It's all about money in the end. So don't bring up restaurants. You're making me want to eat stuff too. Mo, there's a piece of paper stuck in your body. That's not a sentence that's ever been said before. I like how this body doesn't have any sensory systems, but it's annoying to not be unable to feel things like this. Let's have a look at that piece of paper first. I don't think it was in your body until just now. Maybe we got too infamous and someone sent us a calling card or something. The Phantom Thieves are coming from the Brothers of Iron. It's happening. Also, Brother of Iron, Jesus Christ, that sounds like something from 40k. Or maybe a coupon for a, for yummy new food. Are all syndicates composed of such half-witted individuals? I was expecting someone more refined. Eh, it all depends on the syndicate. The city is crowded with them. You could even say there's one for every fixer out there. A number of thugs gather up and do things under a name, and you get a syndicate. They're involved in all sorts of different businesses, so it's hard to give a general description beyond that. They seem sloppy. Are those machines? Those are, they aren't machines or AI, despite their appearance. Pure machines carrying their own emotions and desires have long since disappeared from the city. These guys are just using whole body replacements, and low quality ones from a shoddy workshop at that. I see. Alright, shall we prepare for the reception? Let's do it again. So we can find valuable stuff here, right? We just have to chop up some monsters and take some books. This body has strength, if nothing else. We came here for loot, but what if that piece of paper was all a lie? Maybe we were too naive. There is no need to worry, dear guests. In this place, we strictly play by the rules written on the invitation. Yikes. <laughs> oh god, there's a lady. Welcome, dear guests. This is the library. And I am Angela, the director and librarian of my role's namesake. 
In this library, you may obtain the books listed on the invitation. If you overcome the ordeal, that is. It must be one of those ploys by rich folks. It's all entertainment to them. I heard of that. They kidnap people from the back streets, trap them in a labyrinth from no one can escape, and make them wander in there, fighting for eternity. Uh, until they die, never to see light again. We've already come this far. We have to do this. Don't be so gloomy. May you find your book in this place, then. And it's showtime. What do we got? One, two, three, floor. The floors that can participate in the reception are shown here. So it specifies specific floors being available for each battle, which means I was wondering, would you ever bother using another floor when you may as well just use the first one? But obviously there must be reasons and it would force you to use different floors. So Malchus is here. Did I forget to give her a key page? I can give her a key page, can I? Can I give her a key page? Yeah, I can give her a key page now. Okay. Do I just choose which floor to use? Because I'm probably going to use the floor with more people in it, because... Can I select both floors? Have them team up? I doubt it somehow. Okay, well, we'll go back to my floor then, because there's more of us. It just makes more sense to do it this way. So... Fatally weak to pierce. Weak to pierce. Weak to blunt. These guys might actually be quite tough, but I'm very looking much looking forward to getting these books, because these guys have got some drip. Okay, well, let's begin the stage play. It's showtime! Okay. So let's see what we're working with. Your weak your fatal to pierce, your fatal to pierce, your weak to pierce. And your weeks are blunt. Let me just check that to make sure. Yes. You don't have any pierce attacks on you right now. So blunt on him might be a good shout. But it looks like you're in at least some danger, so quickness will probably be the way to go. I don't know. We'll see. There's a lot about this game I still don't know, so we'll just have to play things out. Oh, yeah. I like my flying style very much. I'm very happy with it, but I'm looking forward to seeing what other ones there are. I'd love to get Roland's suit for other characters, because it looks really damn cool. I love that click so much. You have no fucking idea how much I love the click. I've got two people coming in on me, so preparation would be a good shout to hit that guy. I reckon Roland's could get away with a dirty blow on this guy. Do some real damage. Let's see what happens. Staggered deflect. Oh, I love the combat, though. It's so cool to watch. I'm going to give it to Roland because he's a lower health. Though I should actually be taking resistances into consideration on these cases. So we're both normal resistant to slash damage, so it's actually fine. All right. So we want to go in on this motherfucker and take him out. All my attacks just do one attack, so may as well just use dodge and strike on him. Roland, do you got anything with a bit more? Bite off, yeah. Take him out. Let's go for him. That was good, that was good, it worked out. Mo ain't gonna last much longer, I can tell you that. I'll go for your too slow. Wait, Slash? He's normal to Slash. But it should kill- No, it shouldn't kill him, actually. It shouldn't kill him at all. I got too many Slash attacks, unfortunately. Over time, I'll learn how to arrange my decks better, I think. Getting rid of one of them will eliminate the numbers advantage. It'll help us out a lot. Oh, I'm so dodgy. Look at me. Yeah. You didn't do a lot, though, Roland. It must be said. I'll give myself pale hands. The hands of one that you perhaps we loved are resting inside. I like that my character is performing well. I don't know how long that will last, but I like it. I should probably attack someone else, actually, because um, I'm only doing slash attacks. But then again, these guys are... Um, they're resistant to slash, but they're not resistant to slash in terms of stagger. So I could actually work with this. Focus on him. Go with your too slow. We'll see if we can get Rollins to finish off this guy. 
He hasn't got a lot going for him, though, in terms of attack power on this guy. Try and skitter away, see what you can do. Oh, yeah, took him down. Nice one. But you're going to take some hits. I'm definitely going to have to reevaluate my cards because I focus a little bit too much on defensive play, or at the very least, I should maybe get Roland to have more offensive cards so that he can dish out a bit more damage. Because as it works, we're currently just working them down rather than actually fighting them properly. So I've got struggle now. Your weak to blunt attacks. That is my opportunity to shine. You struggle on him. You could focus on working down Arnold. Two struggles. The stagger damage is real. Oh, yeah. Took him down. One and done. I like the idea of parrying with a knife. I really like it. I really do. I think it's very cool. There's got to be a katana in this game somewhere, though. You know there is. You know there is. There's got to be. Piercing. Good timing. Preparation. Just go for him, I suppose. Make it happen, boys. Staggered. Go in on him. Yeah! Oh! Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's such a spectacle. Struggle. Just go in all on him. Take him out. We're done here. Thanks for playing. Have fun being a book. Gone. Curtain call for the reception of Brotherhood of Iron. Amazing. Book of the Brotherhood of Iron, Book of Mo, Book of Mo, Book of Arnold, Book of Arnold, Book of Arnold, Book of the Iron, Brotherhood of Iron, Book of Constant, Book of the Brotherhood of Iron, and another Book of Mo. And Roland's got Ironclad Brother. That's pretty cool. I took care of them. See, it's not a good idea to keep your brain inside a hunk of scrap metal. Isn't it still better than a frail human body, though? There are plenty of ways to enhance your body without replacing it for another. Heck, there's actually many options. Tattoos, prosthetic limbs, medication and drugs, you name it. It's all possible as long as you have the cash. Replacing your body with a machine, on the other hand, is a one-way ticket you can't ever go back on. Robotic bodies cannot resemble humans too closely, even if it's for someone swapping out their flesh. Your life goes down the drain right away. When does one put their brain in a machine, then? One, when you urgently need a huge amount of money, you can sell off your old body and organs for a good chunk of cash. Two, when you need to do repetitive work for a long time. I heard mechanical bodies like that aren't bad for that kind of labor. Broken parts can be quickly replaced, and desires can be kept under control, so it has its merits. Repetitive work for a long time. Yeah, that must, um, yeah, yeah, like a million years or so, or would have felt like a million years. Despite actually feeling like 10,000 years or a thousand years or so, and despite actually being just 10 years. What, interested in getting a new body? No, I was just reminded of my past for a moment. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I wonder what it must be like to play this game if you haven't played Lobotomy Corporation. Because there's a lot of context, you know, that's kind of required. Let's burn those books. We'll keep the Book of Consta because, you know, we've only got one. The rest of these can be burned. So just a Book of Arnold, a Book of Mo, and a Book of the Brotherhood of Iron. Let's see what we get. I should burn a book on Malchus' floor, actually. That's very cool. So we've got a bunch of these attacks. Chop it off. Oh, God damn. Arnold, 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 Consta, Mo. Mo looks very cool. And uh, uh, yeah, these guys appear to be a lot stronger. So it might be worth swapping up to those. Let's have a quick look then. Oh, there must be a um, an abnormality suppression on this floor. Right, well, Malkith, at the very least, you're going to need... You should have Mo's page, actually. Oh, she looks cool. Oh, I might keep her wearing that, because she looks awesome in that. Oh, that's dope. That's really dope. She looks like a badass. And it's something she's familiar with, because, you know, she used to be a, a fucking... Uh, 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 robot. Now she's not a robot, so... Probably works out. Electric shock. On a successful attack, inflict one paralysis at a 25% chance next scene, once per target per scene. Go preparation, because I can get more energy, and we'll go two dodge and strikes. And that'll be Malkov's loadout for now, while I figure out what the fuck I'm doing. 
Because I assume she's going to have to fight the abnormality, right? Like, we can't outsource this to, um, to the top floor. Will you enter the book of Scorched Girl? Oh, yeah, we will. Yeah, we will. There's going to be Malka versus Scorched Girl and other things. It's grasping onto that charred matchstick like that. It's, that's its only hope, step by step. A warm fireplace, a plentiful dinner, fancy decorations. What will show up when I light the next match? This is just the coolest shit. I just, I can't. It's so cool. So. Ah. I assume we have to destroy the matches in order to defeat it. Because it has 500 health. These things are weak to blunt damage, which we can do. Unfortunately, I haven't set this up very well for this. Then again, these got well, 25 HP. Hmm. Let's try you only live once and see what happens. I'm willing to accept that I'll probably lose this the first time round, because there's stuff to learn. Malkov, that did not go well. It's okay, we'll figure it out. But it's so cool that we get to play as the Sephira. Malkuf is literally one of my characters. That's awesome. That means Pod, Netzak, he said, Gibura, Vina, Hokma, all of them. Tifereth, that's weird, We're gonna see Tifereth. Do the Tifereth twins fight together, because that'd be so cool. That would actually be dope if the twins fought together. And your sword's gonna, I bet your sword is a fucking demon on the battlefield. That'd be awesome. Oh, this video game. Oh, right, don't have enough energy. Yeah, I was confused. Okay. Um, try preparation, because if you win the clash... Okay, well, Malk, if you are suffering a little bit, it must be said. She got most of her energy back. This remix is so good. We'll go blow it up. difficult when you're outnumbered. That's the main issue. Although I suppose I don't have to do these straight away. No, no, I need to do this in order to get more librarians, so I have to be outnumbered for this. Oh, the music, guys. The music. Listen to it. It's dope. Ooh! Oh, I can't. Oh, it's so good. I am in love with this game already. Go for it, Malka. Take him out. And the clashes. The clashes are amazing. I love the clashes. Oh, is she getting involved now? I hope not. <laughs> I don't know if I could take it, really. Is she about to explode? You can't use chop it off. Go for a dodge and strike. Hope for the best. It did not work. Turn to ash in the end, poor thing. Chop it off. Go for a kill. That was good. Almost taking it down. I think if you take down the second one, we'll win. One. I'll never get over how good the click sounds when you select things. It's just really good. I can't exaggerate it enough. It's such a good piece of audio design. A basic piece of percussion. And it works so fucking well. Go in on him. Oh, no. Oh. I took too long. Now my Malkuth's gone. Bazaar. <laughs> Shit. I think I'll always fail at least once on these uh, abnormality suppressions. I don't care, though. It's fun. I j I, it's just fun to play. Let's go back in, Malkuth. You and me. Let's make it happen. Because we can round this episode off with something very important. All right, round two. Let's make this happen, Malkuth. You and me. It's a bit of an awkward situation. I'm not going to lie. We do need to fight quickly. See if we can get uh, Blow It Up going. That was a damn good hit. That went very well. Oh. Just, just in love with this game already. Staggered. The next hit will destroy it. We have to attack it anyway because we need to finish it off. God forbid we, you know, leave it alive. That would be unacceptable. So what we do is we hit it with a dodge and strike that doesn't waste any of our light. Gives us defensive mood. Takes it out. Good start. Defensive bonuses. We still took a bad hit, but it's okay. 
I love how fucking smug Malkov looks during fights as well. She, oh, what a great, oh God, they did everything right. I don't know, I can't, it's too much for me, the video game, too much good. Sadly, the uh, you only live once failed, but that's okay. Chop it off, go in again. We need to kill it quickly. That was some good hits actually. We'll go for preparation, because if we can win this, then more light. Nah, I think we lost. That's unfortunate. I'm scared, because I feel like the Scorch Girl's going to come in soon. Dodge and strike. You managed to hit it back. That's good. Two. Come on, Malka, if you can do it. Blow it up. Blow it up. Oh, no. Oh, wait, we're still alive, but we're staggered in the next round. Uh, I think we've lost. Shucks. I need to actually check these guys to what they do. I keep forgetting to do that. Scorch Girl might be a little trickier. I guess people weren't joking when they said it was a vertical difficulty incline, but I think Malkov can do this. I think she can do this. Let's get this. Big hit. Immediately big hit. We only got one light, so we'll go for dodge and strike for now. Might be enough to stagger. It did some damage. You can do it, Malkus. You've got it. You've got it. You're a champion. You're a hero. Take it down. Very close. That was some bad damage though. Okay, so I need to actually see what some of this damage type is. What are we fatally weak to? Pierce. I think they're doing a lot of pierce damage, so we might want to swap out Malkus gear. So I don't think this is working quite so well. Assuming we lose this anyway, who knows, we might win. Three health. We need to make sure we kill it. Is it staggered? No. This week's a blunt. Try for preparation. That went poorly. I don't think Malkov's gonna win this one. Maybe I could paralyze her. Oh, shucks. Uh, this is tricky. This is very tricky. Okay. I'm not out of it yet, though. It doesn't feel unfair. That's... I think that's kind of a key thing, though. It doesn't feel unfair. It feels like I'm doing something wrong. And that's probably because I am doing something wrong. So I need to think about it. But piercing damage... There seems to be a lot of it because I'm suffering a lot of fatal damage during encounters, right? So I need to... Perhaps swap around my key pages. Most page does appear to be the highest rarity, but... See, Arnold's page might be a little more suitable. Skitter away, and then we'll throw down a dodge and strike so we have something to retaliate with. I don't know if this is any good. I have no idea, but I'm going to keep trying. Book a Scorch Girl. Let's do this again. I can't handle how well it's presented. It's be it's beautiful. It's actually beautiful. That's the word I would use, is it's beautiful. Go for it, Malkith. I guess its defensive attacks were better than better than my offensive attacks. It was no good. Go for a wallop. God damn. I'm trying to work that thing down, but I just can't get a good hit in. Go for a dirty blow. That was a good one. And then we deflected. Well, we deflected some of it, at least. So having some bit more defensive attacks is actually very helpful. Two. Okay, now you're going for a big one. I don't like that. I'm going to go with Endure and see how this do. Stagger deflects. Oh, and destroyed Malkut. That was so slick. So slick. She's been staggered. Should I go for her now? Is that a thing I'm supposed to do?
I'm going to do it. You can't stop me. I'm going for it. Big damage. And she's been inflicted with paralysis, I think. I think I did that. Dirty blow. Go in. Big hit. Staggered. Just gotta finish it off. That's it. Blow it up. Make it happen. Big hits. And that's done it. Wow. Just a quick swap around of like gear and cards and tactics. It goes from being virtually impossible to fucking easy. <laughs> wow. It really, obviously it matters what your card layout is and your equipment are, but it really does matter and it has a huge impact. You have so much control over what's going on, even though a lot of it does come down to dice rolls. It's strange, but it's really good. It feels good to play. So, have the books helped? Yep, I'm sorting them all somehow. It seems to be working, thankfully. Oh, that's good to hear. By the way, I think I remember Angela saying something along the lines of you earning a fleshy body the last time we met. Were you, like, not human before? It was like a replacement body, a change that couldn't ever be reverted. So you had a brain transplant surgery, but somehow managed to go back to your old human body here. That's actually pretty impressive, thanks to the library's powers, I'm guessing? Yeah, I think so. You can't let yourself be held back by common sense in the library, huh? I take it that you don't really like having your body back? You didn't seem too happy back then. Oh no, I actually do like it, it's just that this isn't exactly how I wanted things to go down. What did you do in the past then? Yeah, I wonder, what was I in the past, really? Oh, everyone has amnesia, do they? You wouldn't believe it, but this is actually my third try at life. This library and its librarians have a lot of history behind them. Third try? Can you come back from the grave or something? It's the accumulated memories from my two previous bodies that were carried over, to be precise. My past selves, I never really thought about it this way before. A difficult problem you're facing there, how about your present self? I'm an irresponsible person who let down everyone's efforts. And an idiot who tried to reach for something out of my means and ended up causing trouble, I suppose. Whoa, 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 whoa Jorses, let's not get too dark here. Hey, 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 I just work here. Hey, come on. Let's just calm down for a moment. Take a deep breath. Oh, <laughs> that's how people breathe. And let it out. <sighs> Huff pa. Yeah, that's how I breathe. In. Huff. And out. Pa. <laughs> Relax now. Yeah, it really helped. Thanks, Roland. I should know better than anyone that it's pointless to get upset over things I can't do anything about. I gotta start with the things I can take care of first. Alright, I'll try hard with my work too. Let's take our time with a problem of past selves. Floor of History, Realization. Level 2. One assistant librarian awoken. You now have access to new abnormality pages. The emotional level threshold has increased to 2. A new assignment has been added. When hit, inflict 1 to 3 burn to the attacker and gain a buff at a 40% chance next scene. Offensive dice inflict 1 burn on hits. For false, all allies when a librarian's HP is at 20% or lower, deal 30% of the target's max HP as damage and inflict 1 to 3 burn upon approaching them, then die. Suicide. I mean... Amazing. <laughs> Match light. The first two combat pages the librarian uses after this abnormality page is selected gain the match light status, excludes on play pages. Whenever the librarian uses a page with match light, gain one ember. Pages with match light become stronger based on the amount of ember, however, they have a 25% chance to damage the user if ember is at four or higher. The child body represents the child's crumbled hope, while the ever ever blazing flame represents the obsession for affection. I am coming to you, you who will be reduced to ash like me. Oh, she's like a ticking time bomb. No one can tell if she's in a good mood or not. Interesting. And we have a new nugget. Our first new nugget that isn't me. Unfortunately, for those of you who, have, who are in the wheel, this is one... This is one that's already been predetermined. This is one of the two others that have been predetermined. So we're going to go sort this out now. Well, our first fan-submitted nugget for the new run for the Library of Ruiner Run is Lemon, as I said they would be. Submitted by Prince of Lemons, and Lemon is the main character of a fanfiction that was actually based off of my lo Lobotomy Corporation playthrough. Lemon was a nugget there as well, and they have returned for Library of Ruiner, looking pretty snazzy, I must say, actually. I think it looked very cool. They didn't ask for that specific, like, clothing appearance. 
but I just thought it looked cool. I just picked one that I thought would suit them quite well. I think it looks quite good. I don't know. They'll probably disagree. That's fine. But that's what I went with for now. But yeah, Lemon's our first Phantom Mid Nugget. Changes have been saved. There's Lemon. So I guess I should set them up. Give them Moe's page. And then... If we go to this... Anything that involves fire, I suppose. I don't know. And that'll be Lemon's build for now. Until I inevitably change it, because I realize it doesn't work very well. So yeah. That's Malkus section. This is Keta. A marked difference between the two floors, it must be said. But very cool. Alright. Well, as much as I hate to do it, ladies and gentlemen, but I feel like I should... That's all we've got time for today. Thank you so much for watching. This has been a fucking pleasure. I was so excited to play this, and it turns out that my excitement was fully justified. It is really cool. It is really fucking cool. It plays well as well, and the presentation is just mwah, gorgeous. Fantastic presentation, especially when it comes to abnormality suppressions. My god, that is an event and it's fun and it's cool and I don't care when I lose because I'm like right I'm just doing something wrong it doesn't feel like the game has decided I'm not gonna win which is funny because I think there is actually more randomness in the game mechanics in this deck game because clashes are resolved by like dice rolls between set numbers you can influence it but at the end of the day it is kind of random but it still feels like when I kept losing against Scorch Girl I was like this isn't the game dicking me over I'm doing something wrong Obviously, I'm doing something wrong. Malkov was taking fatal damage with every hit. She had the wrong equipment. My equipped abilities didn't have defensive properties and weren't focused on blunt damage, which was what they were weak to. I should try and build around that. You can... There's, it feels like there's more I can do. Whereas in Lobotomy Corporation, a lot of the time, if I was going into a day, I was like, well, I can all I can do is just equip my people with the best equipment I can and hope they, it works out. Despite the fact there was less random chance in the combat mechanics for the Bobby Corporation, I actually feel like I have more control here, which is strange, but it's a good feeling. Game feel is very good. I'm not sit here saying it's saying that I think the Bobby Corporation is better than Library of Ruin. I think it's way too soon to make such a snap judgment. But what I will say is that I'm very impressed so far with this game. It is incredible so far. I'm having such a great time of it. I hope you guys are even having half as much fun as I am because, wow. Wow, wow, wow. This game. I can't wait to record more. Thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to Aris, Plutonium Pie, Dreamer Ghost, Leper Lullaby, K-Bub, Magical, Peyton Barrett Hill, The Frostbite, Quantum Pizza, Monsoon, Sir World, Jumping With Joy, Warmaster Oku, SCP-106A, Nomad, and Kenny C800 for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much, guys. I greatly appreciate it. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, so much for watching. Thank you, everyone who helped me during the initial mad rush of writing down everyone's nugget suggestions. It was rather chaotic and I was up till like two in the morning getting that much done. And then I had more to do this morning before I started recording today, which is pretty funny because we haven't even used it yet, but at least it's ready. At least I'm not coming away from this recording thinking I have to do the whole thing. So that's good. But thank you everyone so much for watching. And if you've just arrived via Runa, because I hear that, you know, the community is pretty squarely divided between Lobotomy Corporation and Runa, you should know that I have a full Lobotomy Corporation playthrough on this channel. A playlist will probably show up in the end card. If you love Project Moon and you're just waiting for me to put out the next Runa episode, I highly recommend you go check it out. There's over 50 videos, including abnormality story readings, in which we delve into the ideas, the mysteries, the concepts, and the design behind specific abnormalities. No backers yet, but I will be doing that at some point. But check that out if it so interests you. But once again, I don't want to wax lyrical for too long. Thank you so much for watching. Whatever happens next time, and uh, I think we're going to get on our first uh, randomly selected fan nugget next time, so make sure to get your suggestion in as soon as possible so you get the maximum amount of possible spins. And whatever happens next time, I hope I see you there. Turtles, goodbye. Thank you.